Hey, welcome back. We're back here in uh, chapter 30 of 1 Samuel, and we're at verses 26 now to 31, the end of the chapter. Let's read them. Now, when David came to Ziklag, he sent some of the spoil to the elders of Judah, to his friends, saying, Here is a present for you from the spoil of the enemies of the Lord. To those who were in Bethel, those who were in Ramoth of the south, those who were in Jatir, those who were in Aror, those who were in Sifmoth, those who were in Eshtomoah, uh, those who were in Rachel, and those in the cities of the Jeheramelites, those who were in the cities of the Kenites, and those who were in Hormah, those who were in Chorashan, those who were in Athak, those who were in Hebron, and to all the places where David himself and his men were accustomed to rove. So David, uh, David recovers it, and instead of keeping the spoil and just kind of being like, you know, I'm the local warlord, look at my riches, look at my stacks of rich stuff, David gives it back. David takes the spoil, and then that's why he took it. Remember yesterday morning? That's why it said this is David's spoil or the morning before, because he was he had it in his heart to give it back, to give it back to all the people of God who had been raided by the Amalekites. So here's David. He's not storing up riches for himself. He's giving people back their sons, their daughters who'd been taken captive, and back their spoil as much as could be. So interesting, uh, interesting business here. David has a bigger picture in ball involved than just... Me, David. David's looking to the good of all the people. I think there's lessons in that for us. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we are looking to find the examples you have for us in the Bible. And some of these examples from David's leadership should be examples for us. Lord, be with us. Uh, help us to serve you well. Help us, Lord, to not be independent atoms, but to work together in your church for the good of all. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So God has gifts for you and I, but let's share and share alike. Let's not just uh, plan to just store up and build bigger barns and all that nonsense, because we know how that ends, don't we? God be with you today.